Here's are coming out about the number of people using drugs and then dying from overdoses. Brianne Carter is live on our newsroom with a look at those numbers. And Brianne, these numbers just don't seem to go away. Just startling, really, in these numbers that we got in this afternoon. And we're talking about specifically those fentanyl related deaths nearly doubling in just 12 months. Take a look. This out from the Maryland Department of Health. And you can see here we're talking about 2015 to 2016. This is the first three months, January to March in 2015, just 73, jumps all the way to 150 in the first three months of 2016. Now, when we break it down by county, according to these numbers just out this afternoon, it shows that the Baltimore metro area, that is where they are seeing the largest number of cases with 99 just in those first three months of the year. The number of heroin related deaths also jumping from 190 in the first quarter of the year in 2015 to 216 this year in Maryland. Now tonight, a warning from Maryland's health secretary Secretary saying that really no illicit drugs are safe. They are urging lots of people saying that fentanyl could be at sometimes more than hundreds of times more potent than heroin. And for some who are trying to buy other drugs, they could find that inside of it resulting perhaps in an accidental overdose. The warning tonight coming, even though as they have expanded Naxalone, that drug that even sometimes police officers have been given to try and stop those overdoses, warning any drug users to seek treatment before another overdose or death occurs. Reporting live, Brianne Carter, back to you. Okay, Bree, thank you. A community in Prince William County is offering help to those who are affected by the deadly flooding in West Virginia. The Salem Fields Community Church is now loading supplies on a 53 foot tractor trailer bed to send to those victims. They say big box retailers have promised to add to the items that they have already gathered in their community. They plan on driving that truck to West Virginia Friday and then a second team of relief workers will drive up on Saturday. Three people are in the hospital after a tree fell on a private bus that was transporting adults with special needs. It happened this morning on Route 2 in Arnold. Uh, it's in Maryland. The driver of the bus was transported with serious injuries. The other two victims are expected to be okay, we're told. After the passengers were moved off to safety, the crews used chainsaws to get the rest of that tree off. Hmm. Wow. That's not looking too good. Not a good mm -hmm. scene there at no. all. But the weather overall today was just perfectly pleasant. Yeah, this time we were popping in every five minutes with new severe thunderstorm warnings last right. night and the front went through and now it is gorgeous. It is uh, absolutely gorgeous. But we take this uh, observation on this day to look back four years ago today. Two big things happened weather wise. Mm -hmm. First thing that happened is we set a record high of 104 degrees in the afternoon, the hottest it's ever been recorded in the month of June here. Yeah. And then in the evening, the derecho, derecho. there so you that, go, that came through. That's it right. It moved years. 700 miles from the upper Midwest to the Washington metro area over 12 hours. So the whole line, bowed out line of thunderstorms and high winds moving at uh, 60 miles per hour. We had some huge wind gusts around the area. Everybody remembers it. It yeah. was just yeah. knock them, sock them. And how many times have you used that word derecho since? Only to explain <laughs> the derecho from back then because right. it, it is not uncommon. It's just not frequent around here or other parts of the country. So yeah, uh, I was saying earlier, that's when we were all sort of introduced to that term. Yeah, right. It's yeah. been around for a long time, but just not this part of the country so much. 91 mile per hour wind gust at Fort Wayne, Indiana went through the gust in our area, 65 to 75 miles per hour. And again, it uh, just followed today where we set the record high heat waves and derechos go hand in hand. Now, as far as what's happening next around our area, just enjoy an incredible evening as we live on the Potomac River at National Harbor. Temperatures in the lower 80s in many spots. The air is dry, so as we get to, towards sunset, we'll see the temperatures start to drop a little bit more quickly. I mean, if you want to dine outside anywhere in the city, in the metro area, in your backyard, on your apartment patio, you name it, you've got perfect weather tonight. We'll drop in the lower 80s for the evening hours. For the day tomorrow, another day similar to this one, uh, we'll see temperatures low to mid 80s. Humidity levels will be fine as this big area of high pressure is filling in behind the cold front of last night. So as that continues to move in, that will give us uh, great weather tomorrow. On Friday, it will become warmer, more humid because the high will slide offshore. The winds will come to the south and our old cold front 
Uh, part of that is going to head north as a warm front on Friday. That's going to give us a chance of a few showers and thunderstorms, maybe a few in the midday, maybe a few in the early evening. Then another cold front will come through Friday night and uh, clear the way for the weekend. So here's our future cast. We'll take you through tomorrow during the day. A lot of sunshine through the morning and through the afternoon, but late afternoon or evening as we get to start to get a southeasterly push of wind off the Atlantic Ocean, that's going to pop a few thunderstorms in the mountains should not affect the metro area. However, Friday, that'll be our next chance of a few showers and thunderstorms possibly affecting parts of our area during the day on Friday is indicated in our future cast. Now for the end of the week, great 85 and sunshine tomorrow, hot and humid 88 on Friday with scattered showers and thunderstorms. The holiday weekend looks pretty good. A lot of sunshine, dry weather here Saturday, Sunday, mid 80s on Monday the 4th, a little bit cooler with more clouds and scattered showers and thunderstorms. If you're going to the beaches, looks fine there as well for the weekend. In fact, it looks terrific for the weekend, although showers and thunderstorms could be something you deal with if you're there Monday or on the way back home. There are seven days in a row for you. We'll get past uh, Sunday and the 4th and look ahead to Tuesday. Still some lingering shower and thunderstorm chances. Then things settle down for the middle and end of next week with seasonal temperatures and dry weather. Very good. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Doug, you mm -hmm. can maybe identify with uh, <laughs> this idea. Okay. Dad's having a knack for getting out of